Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in this video, we are going to talk about one important thing. In fact, I'm going to tell you one important trick here for cracking the interviews, especially for automation folks. Uh, what you have to do here is that you have to set up everything in advance. This is a short, short trick that I used to have it. I used to use it when I was giving interviews during that time. In fact, I always give this uh, trick to my students also in the training. And then there's uh, having a lot of success stories and this is having a lot of important things with respect to, you know, cracking the interviews in some really good companies. Because whenever you're going for a good company and then interviewer is actually more interested towards your automation framework, your infrastructure setup, that how exactly you are set up everything by your own. Are you having some real time exposure or uh, real time practical knowledge or not? Otherwise, in theory, everything, everyone knows about, okay, yeah, this is Jenkins, this is this, this is that. This is the page object model and everything. But if if I ask you suddenly that, okay, hey, can you please showcase your work? In fact, you should also tell at the time of interview immediately that if you, can I have five minutes to showcase my work? Can I showcase my Git repository or my IntelliJ or Eclipse that whatever that you guys are using it, you can showcase that. You can ask that. In fact, if you're going for the face-to-face -face round also, for example, you can just simple get your laptop with you, carry your laptop with you, and then open your laptop and showcase that this is what that I have developed. People are more interested towards that area as well, that you can ask them, can I have five, 10 minutes? I really want to showcase what exactly I'm doing in terms of CHD pipeline, in terms of Jenkins setup, in terms of infrastructure, running the test cases on the AWS cloud or not, running the test cases in my local with the headless mode, without headless mode. And then you can go through the entire page object model. You don't need to showcase your actual project that you're currently working upon in your current company. But you can see there are various applications are there online. You can showcase whatever the different amazing utilities that you guys, I mean, you actually prepared by your own. And then in that particular practice project, you can create that. You just set up everything. You don't need to write the code in front of them. You just set up everything in a different tab, set up everything in terms of infrastructure, in terms of Jenkins, in terms of triggering the job, CACD pipeline and everything, and then showcase your entire work to them. I'm going to give you a demo that how to explain these things at a time of interview. And then this will make your chances very high that you will, first of all, you will be different from others. You are thinking out of the box to crack the interviews. Plus you're showcasing your practical work instead of theory, instead of what is Jenkins, what is CACD, those typical theory, you don't need to explain that. You can actually show that, okay, yeah, this is what exactly I have done. This is a design pattern that I have used. These are the utilities that I have created. These are the test cases that I'm using in my test NG. This is the format of the XML file and everything. So the chances are very high in that way that, okay, yes, uh, you definitely will be different from others and you will be cracking those rounds for sure, especially for the second and third round when people are more interested about your uh, uh, framework development, your, uh, uh, your knowledge about the design and everything. They really want to check that if you are using this particular trick and there is no harm to ask that. If they don't have time, if they say no, okay, no, we don't have any time. Can you please explain on the board? Then it's a different story. But if you are a very strong candidate and if you really want to showcase that and if you have actually applied for some very important a position in a good company then definitely they would like to see your work this is personally i used in my previous companies also in fact i tracked walmart because of that thing only and then that time i was like having around uh, how much experience around yeah seven eight years of experience and i showcased everything over there in terms of whatever they were in my bucket in my coat in my laptop and then they, it was like really impressive and then immediately I got the offer after that. So you can also use this. So let's see how to do that here. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen, couple of things that I'm going to show. Okay, I'm not going to teach you how to write the code and everything, framework and everything today. But uh, uh, let me just uh, share my screen now. So see this carefully. This is the entire framework that I have written. Here you can see that this is my uh, previous batch framework that I have written. Here you can just quickly go through if they are interested. What is the folder structure, package structure that they have created, um, that you have used? You can quickly showcase that. These are my configurations. You can see under the configuration package, according to the dev environment, QA environment, stage environment, UAT environment, you can quickly showcase your driver factory. And if you really want to highlight some important factor with respect to, let's see, my web driver is written with the thread local uh, initialization. And then this is the initialized driver method that we have written. We have handling both a local execution as well as a remote execution. For remote execution, we are uh, using the concept of the remote web driver. And then how exactly you're initializing the properties. We are maintaining different environments like QA environment, dev environment, stage environment, and all such things. If you really want to showcase other utilities, let's see, for example, element util that you have created, 
you can showcase this particular element util also why not in that case right so see this is my element util that i have returned and then you can just showcase all these important things if they are really interested then you can just open your uh, testng.xml file this is your complete uh, runner file where exactly you are uh, using different configuration with respect to parallel execution with respect to how many uh, test cases that you have returned here you can see number of parameters that i'm passing and then which class is actually participating over here they can ask the question what do you mean by parallel what do you mean by thread local what do you mean by listeners and everything how exactly you are generating a report so you can quickly showcase them instead of giving the answer you know in the form of theory but you show them practically right that is again a good option and then you can say that okay everything i'm controlling from the config.properties file this is my hub url where exactly my uh, selenium grid or selenoid grid i'm using selenoid grid on aws so this is my aws ip address that is what i'm using it if you really want to control with the headless or incognito mode true and false attributes you can use it here on which browser that you want to run you can uh, you can just pass it from here also or you can pass from the uh, regression.xml also that browser and the browser version that you can pass and then later on you can showcase that this is how exactly i created my uh, browser library also remote flag equal to true means run the test cases on the remote machine remote flag equal to false means run the test cases in your local machine simple so once you go through quickly over this and then you try to trigger your test cases in order to trigger the test cases first you already set up everything so see i'm going to show you my aws console here you simply go to let's see this is my instance aws instance which is running already i've already created one ec2 linux machine on my aws if you don't know how to do that please uh, try to learn these basic things that how to create an instance how to set up aws uh, how to set up your uh, dockerized grid and everything on that machine and uh, it's not in my local it's running on aws somewhere in the region and uh, this is a linux machine that i have taken and this is a public and private ip address i'm using it and then you immediately if you really want to uh, log in to that ssh login in terms of set up the docker and everything you can set up in advance or if they really want to uh, ask you that okay hey how will you set up the thing so you can just maintain all the docker composer and everything on that machine and then you are good to go to so see i'm going to log in in that machine here so this is the ip address i have already logged in so now i am into uh, to that aws docker machine that i'm using it over here and i just need to you can check that i go to this particular directory and check that i have a browser json and the docker compose.yml file and i'm just within a second i'm going to start my infrastructure so that also you can showcase to the interviewer see i'm going to start my infrastructure now and see it will just start my infrastructure within few seconds and then all my containers and everything is up and running now and you can check the container details here with the docker ps minus a so here you can see that okay yeah all my containers are up and running i'm having one selenoid grid which is up and running on port number 4444 on aws machine and this is my selenoid ui running on aws machine so i'll do one thing i'm just going to hit uh this particular ip address and port number 8080 that i'm going to hit so that i can see my running test cases over there or not so let's see this is my ip address port number 8080 and then enter see this is not my local host 8080 this is uh, AWS machine that I'm using it over here. So here you can see that um, you can see it's up and running. And right now, <clears throat> test cases are not running. This is my execution environment that I have set up. And now I want to run my test cases on this particular machine. And if they are really interested to see that, you can just quickly come over here from the command line. Also, you can execute with the help of Maven clean install, or you can directly execute from your uh, Eclipse also. So for example, let's say I'm going to run it from here. So right click on it and uh, simple go to run as test ng here so let's see the test case execution is happening on my aws machine or not so here you can see on the console that uh, it will never execute in my local it will never execute uh, okay in my local the browser will not be launched in my local so let's see it is actually running on my uh, aws environment or not so i'll do one thing see the test will start from here slightly slow actually today my machine is actually some other process are running in the background but here you can see that okay yeah running test cases on the chrome on grid machine and let's see in my grid some entries are coming there or not so here you can see that uh, this uses stats will be increased in some time if it is not getting increased you can just refresh the page and uh, let's see so let me just check the console yeah as i still saying running test cases on the grid server the request we are sending from local to uh, there 
So let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, here you can see entries are coming. Can you see that? Now tests are running over here. You can just open any test and you can showcase that. See, these are my test cases are actually running. See, this is my application. Naveen automation labs.com open cart application. The tests are actually running over here. You can see the uh, Docker grid console logs, everything you can see it over here like this. And then if you really want to check some other container also see once the test cases are done automatically contain containers will be removed and uh, terminated also. And uh, you can see the test case or registration account is happening over here like this. This is so awesome. You can showcase that you can maximize it and then you can see that. And then once everything is done, all the test execution is done and they can simple come over here and then you can showcase that. Okay. Yeah. All my test cases are absolutely working fine. We don't have any specific uh, failure. If any failure are there, maybe whatever the XYZ reason behind that. And then you can see that overall, almost like every test case is getting failed. Maybe some test cases are getting failed because of, uh, you know, deliberately, uh, you know, account login title got changed. Maybe on that application, maybe because of that, but here you can see all the test cases are absolutely working fine over here. And then you can see on the console report also overall 31, two test cases got failed, three got skipped because we have written, I have written the retry logic also. That's why that the skip is also coming, but right now we are not bothered about it. Later on, you can showcase that. Okay. We are sending the test execution report through the S3 bucket also. So you see, this is the uh, bucket report. You can just open this particular report uh, in a new tab. You can showcase everything so that how to send the email and everything. See, this is my, not exactly actually the email is coming to my email ID with this particular link. So I'll show you that as well. <clears throat> so see it's written with the email sent. So you just need to copy from here to here only not with email sent. So copy this. Let's see that uh, the test execution report here. See, this is my extend report that we are generating. And then whatever number of test cases you got passed, fail and everything, it's coming over here like this, right? Now, same thing you can set up with the Jenkins also. If you have Jenkins installed on your system, that also you can do it. Jenkins can be installed on your uh, particular uh, local machine also, if you really want to use that or on your AWS machine also, if you really want to install Jenkins, that also you can do that, right? It's up to you. So my target is that you should always focus upon this particular diagram, you must have seen this diagram many times in my videos or in my training. Also, people are interested nowadays that the practical work that you have done, because there are a lot of automation engineers are there. Everybody knows about that, how to write the things and everything, but how smartly and how you are different from others in terms of explaining the things in terms of knowledge, in terms of set up the entire end to end infrastructure along with the uh, framework development plus the CICD pipeline and everything. If you can showcase those things, where exactly you're running, how to set up your own test environment. Are you really participating in your CICD pipeline or not? Are you really running your test cases on a daily basis? Do you really want to showcase that? Okay. Yeah. These are my Jenkins job history. You can come and check that. Okay. I'm running my test cases on a daily basis. And this is the result. Uh, this is what we are doing in terms of maintenance and the monitoring of my test cases so that we are improving on a daily basis. If any failures are there, we always analyze the things that what could be the reason behind that. It could be a script issue or it could be a, a normal uh, application issue also. That's a bug also. And then we always raise a bug like that. So here you can see in this particular diagram that this is the entire in page object model and the complete uh, hybrid kind of framework that I have developed here. Let's see in the form of diagram. I'll give this particular diagram. You guys, you can just download, take a printout and practice it. This is, this diagram is having a lot of success stories. I'm telling you in terms of cracking the interviews. And this is my Dockerized environment, or you can say Dockerized environment on the AWS environment. Also, we can do that. This is my Jenkins job configuration. This is my Git repository and any other proxy, or if you really want to use that, that also you can do it. I'm not going deep dive into these things unnecessary right now, but the idea is here. Idea here is that you have to explain everything within 10 to 15 minutes. If they are asking, can you showcase your work and everything you can showcase your repositories also just open your github.com and showcase your uh, work over there. This is what I, exactly we are doing it. Try to push the code and then automatically trigger the job from Jenkins and run the test cases on your AWS environment and like that. So with this approach, you can showcase easily your complete architecture of your framework, the complete framework design and everything you can showcase that. And then the infrastructure setup also, you are going to show that. And along with that, showing your CACD pipeline, Jenkins and everything. 
I have Jenkins right now available, but again, it will take some time to download and everything. So that I don't want to, you know, do it in this particular video. <clears throat> but please go and check. I'm sure it will help you a lot. If you're looking for a specific, you know, learning like how to set up the AWS infrastructure and everything, there is a paid course available uh, on NavinAutomationLabs.com. You can just go there. You can get all the infrastructure part, all the designing part, how to design the proper real-time use cases, real-time application, how to automate that. And then later on, how to design this full flash infrastructure with respect to different DevOps activities in terms of environment creation, in, in terms of triggering environment and everything. Because these days, these things guys are very, very important. In fact, a lot of people, they are not even maintaining the Git repository. That's also a bad approach. So in that particular course, you will be getting to know about complete end-to-end -end GitHub course, NGROC proxy, uh, S3 bucket on AWS, EC2 machine creation, infrastructure setup on EC2 with respect to Selenoid, how to maintain your own browser lab and everything with Selenoid, you will get to know over there, along with the complete Jenkins, including the CICD pipeline, plus the configuration, plus the individual jobs, Blue Ocean pipeline also I have covered along with the a declarative pipeline syntax also I have covered over there. So if you are really interested to learn about these things, you can take that one and then you just let me know. Otherwise, there are a number of resources also available. You can just go to their official documentation also. You can go there. I'm not doing any marketing of my code, but just I'm telling you this is what the need of the R that you guys have to learn about all these things. I hope it's clear. Please use these tricks. Showcase your work at a time of interview. That plays a major role, a different role out of the box thinking to showcase your work, showcase your knowledge, that plays a very smart role, guys. Please do that. You will be different from others. I'm pretty much sure this formula will work in majority of the good product-based companies and good startups. People are really, really interested about your work, about your practical work that you have done. So please set up everything in your local, in your machine, resources, cloud, laptops, everything is available. You just need to utilize that. Utilize it smartly and different from others. That is the main target from this particular video, please try to take it as a, and a good note that, okay, yeah, you have to be different from others at a time of interview to crack some really good companies. Because once your feedback will be given to the manager from the different, uh, maybe HR or the people, the soft engineers they're taking you around or SDET is taking you around, they will definitely mention that, okay, yeah, you can actually showcase this thing. So that gives a X factor in your profile, in your interviews. So I'm pretty much sure people will give you a lot of weightage on your profile in that way. So that's all for this particular video. I hope it's clear. I hope that you, you know, got to know how to set up and how to showcase these things. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all guys.